good morning. I'm going across now. Um, I've been spending the past two and a half to three hours um, doing drama homework for right now. <laughs> I forgot to read the play. It was good though. So, off to class. See you later. Yay, finally got my check. Except it's totally going to rain. So I'm running to not get caught in the rain. It's starting to drizzle and thunder and stuff. Um, yeah. I'm hungry, I have to pee, and it's about to rain. And I'm holding a check that better not get wet. Let's see if I can do this. Ooh, it is going to rain. <laughs> All right, time to go to class. I've got my stuff done. I am ready to be critiqued, and then I've, I'm so excited. I've got these boots on. I bought them off of eBay, and I've never been able to wear them. So, I've got them on. Eek, can you see there? And I put them on because it's going to be raining, maybe. Um, so, I'm excited to be wearing these. And I know that kind of really seems silly, but I am kind of interested to see what people are going to say about my fiction piece because it's uh, not very exactly normal. Um, so... On to fiction. Woo, I'm done with my critique, and this is the stack of papers I get back. <laughs> well, it's my story and uh, people's thoughts, but um, went fairly well. Um, people generally seem to like it, um, with obvious problems that I already knew were there. Um, but yeah, I uh, feel good. Uh, I can't wait to read all these people's uh, opinions and suggestions and stuff, and we'll definitely make this story better. <laughs> so. Oh, I forgot to buy myself dinner. I have to go do that. <laughs> so I'm going to get dinner now. I was starting to read the uh, comments on my story and really getting wrapped up in them. Even the like the negative ones, the ones that like I just did not enjoy some parts. Like I'm really loving it. Um, yeah, I'm I don't care that people don't like things. Whatever. Um, just one thing I really, really find when I'm wearing these boots, the ones I showed before, I like walk differently. It is awesome. Um, I love them and I'm going to start wearing them more and like I like I just kicked open a door. Like those that's oh they, I feel empowered by these boots. It's really stupid to say but I really do. So oh, I had to say that because these boots are freaking awesome. Like boom boom. They're not very quiet though but they're awesome. They're kick ass. That's what they are. Not the movie. I haven't seen it. Don't want to see it. So, yeah, that's my ramble. I have to go get dinner now because I'm hungry. <laughs> and I am done with homework. Yes, feels so good. And it's only 11 o'clock and it's due at 12 o'clock. So that feels good. Um, something I completely forgot to mention, not because I'm not excited about it. I just was doing stuff. Um, my laptop arrived at home. <laughs> so exciting. So I can return this to my mother. I will put everything back, maybe. Um, because my mother would not have Boondock Saints as her, um, uh, desktop, um, nor would she have my Google as her homepage. I, I have a lot of little quirks about when I, what I need on my computer. Um, so excited. My dad is loading, um, like, Norton antivirus and, and all these different things. Um, but I'm going home tomorrow evening, um, and... I get to spend the night putting everything onto my computer. Um, oh, it's gonna be so nice. And uh, my mom sent me a picture. Hang on, let me get it. So she sent me this picture of the new computer. Um, and then this is in comparison. Um, eh, can't get my fingers to work. That's the computer I was on, and this is my new computer. Um, so it's a little bit bigger, but it should be awesome. Main point, I am really excited to get it. Um, super excited to have my own computer back and I will not kill it, maybe. Okay, I will not kill it as quickly as this past one. I know that for certain because I'm starting to get in the habit of turning my computer off when I go to sleep at night. Um, I used to be, well, I mean, when did that habit form? Maybe when I went off to college for the first time because like I always used to shut my computer off at night. But when I went to school, um, I don't know, it's, it's just so much better. I keep my uh, laptop like right next to me when I sleep because um, I don't really have a desk here and I don't use a desk. I 
just really sit here all day if you didn't notice um, so I've just gotten in the bad habit of keeping my computer on literally 24 7 whether I'm on it or not it is on um, so I'm pretty sure that's killed my computer a lot um, so what I've decided to do is turn it off every night so I'm starting to do I've done that with my mom's computer every night that I've had it um, and it actually isn't that hard to do um, especially since well the person I usually stay up for hasn't been on as much so it's not that difficult um, Melissa by the way um, we kind of role play uh, all night long <laughs> until one of us has to go to bed um, so getting out of that habit hopefully I won't kill this new computer as quickly like it no no I will not kill it I mean I'm sure I will kill it but not as quickly as this past one um, this one should be much better because I actually know what's in it whereas the last one we just kind of bought what was at the store um, this one we actually ordered through Dell I picked what I wanted pick what I didn't want what I needed what I didn't need um, and it's specifically for like it's a graphics computer that's the subtitle it was Dell XPS 17 graphics so it's got a huge awesome awesome graphics card and then it's also got awesome sound quality um, supposedly so we'll see that tomorrow oh cannot wait I want my computer <laughs> oh boy freedom is short-lived made a new list of homework yeah um, and Dracula, which I am now reading for the second time by the same professor, um, this version, uh, we have to read this much. So 218 pages of Dracula. If you've never read Dracula, it's boring. It is so dry. <sighs> Maybe it'll be better the second time through. I actually, um, because I took a vampire class with, um, this professor, Cater. Oh my god. Probably the best course I've had in my education history. Um, sort of. Sort of. Because it kind of got really repetitive at the end. But anyway. Um, read this for that class. And I didn't even finish, like, the middle chunks. Like, I skipped because I just could not read it. It's it's really tough to get through so maybe this time it'll be better now that I actually know like what he's thinking in the assigning this book because when he first assigned this book in my vampire course well obviously it's, it's quintessential not quintessential but almost nearly quintessential vampire text um, that everyone's kind of familiar with um, but like he assigned it along with theories and philosophies and all this and it's like I just don't understand why and how but now that I actually have that class knowledge and then this class's knowledge to go with I think maybe I can place this book a little bit better I'm hoping I kind of want to start now but I really don't I want to enjoy my few hours of freedom <laughs> um, but, but yeah I have to do a response to the play um, I have to write a freaking metered poem it's gonna suck and read metered poems from the other class or from the other group and then I have to read fiction pieces yeah this weekend look awesome the weekend looked awesome now it looks less awesome with all this homework of course the first thing I cross off and get done is the easiest thing and the one right in the middle uh, I'm not looking forward to writing a metered poem Not excited. <laughs> well, anyway, I am not going to sleep yet, but soon. Um, so that's all I'm going to do for tonight, and good night.